Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and magicians, it is time for the first Magic Trailer Reviews of the year. The first one of 2020. And now, I didn't get to go to the session last weekend. I had other plans and there were other things going on. So I'm quite excited to look at some like new magic or magic that I've not seen before at least. Won't necessarily be new. So, ah, let's get cracking right into it. It's not the words I meant to say, but that's fine. So we're gonna start off, I think, you know the format by now. We're gonna go to a bunch of the websites. We're gonna look at about four to five trailers and critique them. I am hoping that 2020 brings with it a new, can't even think of the word, a new, fuck, what is it? A new hope. It brings a new hope for magic trailers. Trailers that are less than one minute, 30 seconds long. Anything over that, no. A less drum and bass. More about the effect itself and less on the boom of the advertiser or publisher. As I said, because I didn't get to go to the session, let's start off with the people who did the session. Vanishing Ink. Best selling magic tricks, quality magic updated hourly. Visual Box is the top one, so let's have a look at that. Oh, it's S Magic Productions. <sighs> Fuck it, let's give it a watch. Let's get the headphones on. Serious magicians think not only about their material, but also their transitions. So you want to do a coin trick. How are you getting into it? You want to do a trick with three matches? How do you present the matches? Like this. Visual Box is the perfect solution to producing any small prop you wish to use in a subsequent twi twig. 1 minute 34. Okay, let's have a look then. Or is that like the Avengers Endgame music? No angle limit. I bet it looks wicked from underneath. Like you watch that box. Oof, what happened? Ah, oh, stuff in it now. I'm not sure why the trailer's still going. Okay, that was a 30 second trailer with a minute of padding. But it was concise. They got the point across very quickly. You know, this is a box. Get off. This is a box that's gonna make things appear. It doesn't say it can make anything vanish. Here are some key points. No black art. I how easy is it to load a playing card into it? 6.5 out of 10, I think. That's very fucking precise. <laughs> Jesus Christ. 6.5. Um, not a 6, not a 7. 6.5 out of 10, I think. Customer rating, 4 stars. How many people have rated it? Just one. As described with one caveat, the ad copy states breezily that Visual Box is perfect for producing props to be used in subsequent effects. Well, yes. With a bit of sleight of hand, the props used in subsequent effects can appear to come from the box, but it would be awkward at best to actually remove the props produced from the box after their appearance. Ooh. At £45.50, nah, you're, you are okay. Maybe that's one for like a sale when it goes down to maybe like 20 quid. Because you've got to justify why the fact you're using the box and stuff. Yeah, it's, it's not for me. Let's have a look at some of the other ones in the list. Jerry's Nuggets in the list. Ugh. I, I still don't get it. I'm sorry. I really don't get it. It's not. I don't think it's very good. Uh, the Illusion is a book critically acclaimed, smash success in its original French language, it will inspire you to push harder. Okay, let's have a look at the trailer. So that's 58 seconds, so that's pretty good. Let's have a quick look at the trailer. The Illusioneer by Carlos Vaquera is the latest book from Vanishing Ink Magic. Carlos Vaquera is one of Belgium's finest magicians. He's a FISM winner and he is known for creating exceptional close-up and parlor material. Like, I appreciate, you know, Andy and Josh sit... Josh? I cannot speak today. Take two. I appreciate Andy and Josh... Oh my... I appreciate Andy and Josh sitting there and going through it. That's nice, but... Yeah, the trailer doesn't really add anything to it. The, the, uh, the, the copy doesn't. But 300 pages for £35. £5 cheaper than Ben L's The Shift, which is, just to, to point out, 93 pages. You're getting triple that for five pound less, but you know. A review of that coming later. Um, for 35 quid for a book of that kind of size, I think that's a reasonable price. Okay, I wanna, I'm wanna. i gonna have a look at the Collusion Ring. Let's, I, I've not seen this before and I like, I do like ring magic. So let's have a, 
engineered to be the ultimate ring for use in sleight of hand magic routines. Cast in high carbon stainless steel and finished with a dark ebony inlay. Extra grip, superior handling, and a showroom finish. This is a total upgrade for ring magic. Maybe, but it looks a little bit... Mm. It's just a fancy ring. It's a fancy ring for 45 pounds. I don't like it. <laughs> Sorry, I don't, I'm not really a fan of, I can see what they're trying to do. Like they've added notches on the side to give you a bit extra grip when doing coin maneuvers and things. Video tutorials as well. So if you're new to ring magic, you can learn that. That's probably worth part of the price tag, but no, it's not for me. All right, going off vanishing ink. Let's go look at Penguin Magic's bestsellers of top 10. Derek Ostiovani. Random odds. No bill switch. No setup. I have borrowed bill, borrowed phone, and borrowed deck. A polished reputation maker with layers upon layers of deception. Start loading instantly. $10. Not a bad price tag. Let's have a look. How long is this? Five minutes? What? How is this five minutes? With borrowed odds, you guys will look like you can predict large numbers under the most impossible and fairest conditions. Read. You borrow a bill a phone, and you can even borrow a deck of cards. So then you take their phone, you bring up the calculator, you have them input random numbers. It could be their birthday, it could be their address, social security number, it doesn't matter. They're multiplying all these numbers and they're doing it. And at the very end, they hit the equals button. You don't even have to touch it. After that, you then take the deck of cards and you shuffle face up cards into face down cards. You then spread through. You take out just the face down cards and you let the spectator make yet another choice and how you deal those cards. They could be dealed one at a time, they could be dealed uh, two at a time. It's completely up to them. I think we get where this is going at this point. You then have them pick up their calculator and tell you the digits of the calculator, which happen to miraculously match the exact order of the cards that you just shuffled and they told you what order they wanted to put it in. They're blown away, they think the trick is done. You then hit them with one more punch when you show that the bill that they let you borrow from the very beginning, oh, and by the way, it's signed so they know you didn't do any switches, has the exact serial number matching the calculator, which matches the cards on the table. There's still one minute of this left. I mean, looking at the, the, the reviews here, you know, I mean, Ryan Schultz and John Bannon say, you know, how he's combined a number of principles. You can kind of see those principles in the trailer. Um, and if you're not familiar with them, then $10 is probably a pretty good price to, to learn. Let's have a look at the reviews. Uh, no one stars, mainly five stars. Yeah, it looks good. Um, I think I think the fact that you learn several concepts in this that then you can take away and apply to other tricks means that this is probably quite good, uh, especially for like ten dollars um so yeah i think that looks i think that looks quite good i think the tricks is a bit too much for me a slice by pierre pierre let's have a look at this a stunning demonstration throw a card and penetrate the deck Chop. throw a card and penetrate the deck at the exact position of a freely selected card it requires an inexpensive secret something that most magicians already own okay let's have a quick look at this one minute 20 acceptable slice is an insanely visual card stab that makes you look like the audio is far too high to hear what he's saying but sure so i'll do just with one to see that just arrived under one, one queen, of club. queen of club. Hopefully, yes, we made it. <laughs> Is that correct, Art? <laughs> Thank you. No matter if you're a beginner or an expert, slice is a piece of cake. Good trailer. I like that trailer, that was good. Concise, efficient, told you what it was gonna be, had a little bit of a joke at the end. It could have done with the music being slightly lowered down. One thing that does upset me is the quotes section where you go to, you know, see reviews or quotes from other authors uh, has this quote. 
I've fooled a lot of great sleight of hand card magicians with this trick. It's his own quote. What? But I like this. Um, no card throwing skills needed, no difficult moves, and the method makes this incredible looking effect extremely easy. Now you can probably work out some of this because it says the product requires something that most magicians already own, something that costs less than $6 in the off chance you don't own it. So realistically, you're probably looking at paying around 20 bucks for this, 10 for the secret, six for the piece that you're missing, plus postage and packaging. But it looked pretty good, I mean, again, very very good reviews very good winner did not see this coming this is really good this is how you start off 2020 i like it i think it's quite nice and um yeah as someone just wrote down there it could be a magician for that and i think it would be so long as you don't read the ad copy <laughs> just before you're about to perform this uh, i think you'd be great should we do one more let's do one more let's have a look at one more thing Okay, let's have a quick look at Method 01 by Kaelin Morelli. I've not seen this yet. I tend to like Kaelin Morelli's stuff. So let's do this one and then we'll, we'll finish on this one, I think. Let's have a look and see uh, what this is about. Any card is named and that card appears blistered on your fingertips. One card that's in 52 cards. You see how when I put my finger on this, my finger like kind of glows red yes. a little bit. We know if that was actual fire or heat, that would blister my skin, right? Yes. Watch. But this is so odd. The two, it almost what? looks like a two of spades. What is that? <laughs> the effect itself is cool, they already a lot, I would say, of variations of the blister effect on the market done by multiple people. I'm more worried about Caitlin Morelli. <laughs> yeah, okay, it was a bit weird. Um, so that's it, guys. I will just finish this off by saying there is one effect that I've seen recently that has actually you know, turned my fancy. I didn't show it here because I'd already seen it, so there wasn't any room for reaction. I've seen it a couple of times. Uh, and that's a new release coming out by Tobias Dostal. Dostal? Um, the trailer's quite short as well. It's a one minute, you know, as performance based thing. I'll leave a link to it down below. I think it looks really good. Um, the price tag is $60, which is quite high, so I've not quite taken the plunge yet, mainly because with a lot of his stuff, it looks incredible but it looks incredible when he does it. When the, the effect actually comes out, some people say, you know, these things are a bit difficult to use or they're not quite right and stuff. So I'm gonna wait until some reviews actually come out for it before I decide to take the plunge. Unless illusionists just wanna send me a copy. Of course they won't, but, um, but I think I, I personally, it's one of the more creative things that I've seen in a while. I'll leave a link down below to the trailer for that. I uh, hope you enjoyed this video, guys. Uh, like, subscribe, all of that jazz. Big thank you to my Patreons. And I will see you in the next video, which will be next week. Ta-ra for now.